it would take too long to recount the stories of the faith of Gideon. Barak and Samson and Jephthah and David and Samuel and all the prophets. And we get that word here, Gideon. We've been talking about Gideon over the course of the summer, even though we've kind of been interspersed around, you know, outside, inside, and all that kind of thing. But we've been talking about Gideon, and we remember this guy. This guy was not, if you were to kind of categorize someone with great faith, it wasn't Gideon, if you've read the story. As we walk through that, Gideon was a guy who doubted. And if you remember, Gideon was the least in his family. His family was the least in his tribe. The tribe was the, was the least in the nation. This was a dude that didn't belong anywhere. He was an outcast of his own family. He was like, hey, listen, if someone's going to kill us, we're going to put you in front so we can all run. And here's a guy who didn't have the kind of faith that that we would look at as being great. And God's like, I want to use you. And he's like, whoa, I am nothing. And he's like, no, you're a mighty warrior. And listen to what um, Gideon was able to do. It says this in, 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 in Judges. It says, then he said to them, Gideon's speaking here as a general of, a, of an army. He said, keep your eyes on me. When I come to the edge of the camp, do as I do. And as soon as I, and, and those who blew their ram's horns and blew their horns too, they around the entire camp and shout for the Lord and for Gideon. It's, it's a story you have to read. It's fascinating and wonderful. But the progression of this guy's life over the course of a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, we're not exactly sure. But here was a guy who was, who was hiding out from the enemy, and God comes up to him through someone and says, I'm going to use you. And he's like, no, you can't use me because I'm not that. And he's like, no, I can use you. Actually, I want to use you, and I'm going to use you. Trust me. And then a couple of weeks later, Gideon is leading an army against an insurmountable odds. And so when we read this passage, it reminds us if there's hope for someone like Gideon to be used of God, we actually might have some heroes in this room today. 